brethren, I pray you sing a new song. Sing praise in the assembly of the righteous. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let the high praise of God be on the mouths of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations and punishments on those peoples to bind their kings with chains. This honor have all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Bro, come and holler us real quick, real quick, real quick. Where you going? Real quick, bro. Real quick. Real quick. That's brotherly love right there, man. Brotherly love. All praises. God. All praises, man. So you know who you are according to the Bible? No? Y'all go to church? Y'all been to church? Y'all been to church? Okay. So you probably, you're never going to hear, hear the Bible speak, spoke of like this, right? So the Bible is only for one group of people on the planet. And it's for those people to understand the Bible and place everybody else in order, right? You're supposed to, you, what's, what's the race of your father? Let me ask you that first. What's the race of your father? Yeah, black, so-called African-American, so-called African-American, right? So, um, there's a lot of things I'm, I'm not thinking of. I'm trying to think of the basic, uh, maybe one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so there's things that we're supposed to know. Ex uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Right, let's get that first. This is Numbers 1, verse 18. Bring it out. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their father. So the pedigree is a bloodline, right? You, they declared, the Israelites declared their bloodline by the house of their fathers. You are who your father is, right? So there's no confusion. You can say I'm a mix of this, I'm a mix of that. But it says, the Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. So everybody can be everything, that's, that's confusion. You'll never know who you are at the end of the day. So if you follow the seed of the Father, which we know that man carries the seed, right? Man carries the seed. So uh, uh, if you if you are from you are from the lineage of your Father, right? So uh, you it was prophesied that we will go into slavery on ships. Do you know how you got here to America? Your people got here to America. You know how your people got here on today? America. You know how your people got here in America? No? But the Bible prophesies, the Bible prophesies how the so-called African American got here today. It's a prophecy. A lot of times in in America, they teach you your heritage or they teach you a little bit about your history uh, and Black History Month, but they don't start they don't start with this because it wasn't given for them to know. But let's listen out. Let's listen to it. This is Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now the, the, the word Egypt is the word for bondage, for slavery. So you will go into slavery again, but by the way of ships, right? Our people were brought here on, uh, sl on slave ships, right? So this is a prophecy, this is a prophecy. Hey, and, and this is a beautiful heritage. This heritage is very rich, right? If you're supposed to be the gods on earth, wouldn't ki king and gods on earth, wouldn't you wanna know how to get that? that the, the, the riches of this world is supposed to be given to you. How do you get that? How do you become? How does, how does that happen? Right? You got to follow out the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, man. It's simple. It's simple. It's really simple. Right? He didn't make it complicated or hard for us to do. The only thing that we're fighting today is our flesh. That's the that's the hardest part. It's fighting our own flesh. But keep going. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. I said you will be what? Sold unto your enemy. I said you will be what? Sold unto, unto your enemies. enemies. Wait, were the, were the blacks sold unto somebody? When they got here to America, were they sold to somebody? Who were they sold to? They were sold to the white people. I appreciate your bravery. A lot of people, our people will be afraid to say that. They're afraid. We were sold to white people, right? That's a fact. That literally happened. You can't be afraid of facts. That's a fact. It happened, right? So we were sold. The Bible said that he called them what, though? Your enemy. He called them your enemies, though. That's what the Bible said. That's what it said. It said what it said, right? It was left in there for you to learn, right? So you were sold unto your enemies. Go ahead. 
for bond men and bond women. For slave men and slave women. That's what you were sold for, for slave men and slave women. What we didn't do, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. This is what we didn't do. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. This is what we did not do. This is Deuteronomy 10 verse 12. No. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Require means to expect. He expected you men, the nation of Israel men, how old are you? 16? 15? You are young men. So this was expected of the nation of Israel men to do. Requirement means men, uh, expect. He expected you to do. But to fear the Lord thy God. To fear the Lord your God. That's your power. The creator of the universe. Right? He created, he created you to do something. To walk in all his ways. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. With all thy heart and with all thy soul. Hey, is there any question that you would have, you would ask for people uh, uh, that you would have about the Bible? Is there any question that you would have about the Bible? Is there any type of like something that you don't understand? Uh, anything that you think that's uh, a contradictory? Right. No? Okay, so do you understand who you are today? Who are you? Well, according to the Bible, who are you? You're, you're, to the Bible, you are what? Humble, say that again. You me, according to the Bible, you from the tribe of uh, Judah, from the nation of Israel, right? You're an Israelite. You're an Israelite man. And there's something that's expected of you. What's expected of you is to keep the laws of God and to fear him, God. right? To keep the laws, right? So, um, uh, 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 uh. Go ahead, yeah, yeah, let's get that. Con, Isaiah 1. Con, because uh, it was prophesied that his people would not know, right? It was prophesied that we don't even care. All these riches and stuff was promised to you, but you don't even care. That's weird. That's weird. Hey, a lot of people work for riches. A lot of people work for riches, but he said if you do this, you'll get riches. But you don't, people don't care. That's weird, ain't it? Ain't it weird? All right, so I want to um, make sure that you actually understand what's going on real quick, right? So the brothers breaking down the history of who took us into slavery, what happened to us in slavery, right? So the reason why we're doing this is because the Bible speaks about this thousands of years before it happened, right? But then we see a people that actually went through this, right? So what we're showing is how we today are line up, we line up with the biblical people that God chose thousands of years ago. And we line up as those people today when we look into the Bible. You see what I'm saying? That makes sense? So let's go to Deuteronomy uh, 28 and verse 32, right? So we went into slavery. We went, the people that took us as slaves was Europeans, right? We're on the plantation. We got to work for them, right? Read what you got, Doc. This is Deuteronomy 28, 28 verse 32. No. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So would you say that our our children were given into another people during slavery? What happened to the children? Huh? They took them and they would they would uh, kill them if that was the case, or they would uh, make them as workers. They would grow them up. A six-year-old boy like you, you be in those fields. You be you be exerting all that energy from sun up to sun down. They wouldn't be playing no Xbox. Uh, no PS4s, right? Wouldn't be on no Instagram, no Snapchat. You'd be working from sun up to sun down, right? Blisters, fingers uh, bleeding, right? So it's important to know who you are because the Most High said that He was gonna have mercy on His people, right? If I came to go, if I came killed your brother, you want justice for your brother, right? Well, the Most High want justice for His people, but we gotta the people that are His people gotta come back to their nationality, who they are according to the Bible. You see what I'm saying? All right. Go to uh, Hosea 4 and 6 real quick. All right, so so something something has happened to your ancestors, right? You ever wonder why when you look in the, um, the uh, community, why everything always happening to our people, right? We the ones always going to jail. We the ones always getting killed. We the ones in all the ghettos, right? We the ones that got to work the hardest to come up in society. You, do you know why that is? It's in the Bible, man, right? 
This is our punishment from the Most High God for not listening to him. We'd rather go around dancing, singing, rapping songs, rolling the spliffs, right? But we don't want to do what the Most High want us to do, and that's keep his commandments, right? We don't want to do that. We wonder why we want to go out there and we want to be gang gang, right? Who the hell want to be gang gang? Show me one person that was yelling gang gang and he ended up good. Mm. Where he at? Which one? Unless you're going to be a snitch like 6ix9ine. Because the world glorifies snitching now. It's cool to be a snitch. You, you listen to 6ix9ine? Do you? Do you? Because that's, that's supporting snitches, man. And he and he and he walk around and he, he he brag about how since he since he's been a snitch, how everybody listen to him now. You see what I'm saying? Everybody they they glorify snitching, man. Everything's upside down and backwards, right? Read what you got out. This is Hosea four verse six. You, know? you, you thinking that you a black man is upside down and backwards? On. Right? How the hell are you a black man? Can you explain to me how you black? Upside down and backwards. We go along with things that we don't even know why we go along with them. Somebody told you you was something, now you believe it, but really you royalty walking on the earth. Billions and billions and billions of dollars in wealth belong to you, but you thinking you a black man because somebody told you. Uh. Now you sleep. You don't really want to know who you are though, huh? You rather be a black man? You want to stay a black man? Or you want to be, be royalty, who you are, who God made you to be? Royalty or a black man? What, what about you, brother? Would you rather be a royal man or a black man? Royal, read what you got. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The Most High God said that his people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, right? Knowledge of knowing who they are, right? Knowledge of knowing where they're going, right? Knowledge of knowing what, knowing what they're supposed to do when it comes to the Most High God, right? They destroy. He says, my people are destroyed. Because thou has rejected knowledge. Because they reject knowledge. Right. We probably show y'all that y'all Israelites, God's chosen people according to the Bible. And y'all probably go off and y'all be jugging tonight. I don't know. I don't know. You know, whatever little kids like to do these days. Y'all be right off doing that. But when it come to God, y'all ain't forgot everything about God. Right, Reek? I will also reject thee. You said what? I will also reject thee. He said he going to also reject you. Do you want God to reject you like you reject God? No. Nah. Put you off for a blood. Like, hold on, I'll get to that in a minute, brother. Let me roll this L real quick, though. Right? When the last time you sat in a circle with your boys and y'all talked about God? I bet y'all roll them blunts, though. Hot box them cars, though. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I bet y'all do all that. Do y'all talk about God? Have any of your friends ever talked to you about God? Never. That's a problem, man. Read this again. My people. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Uh -huh. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, uh -huh. I will also reject thee. He said, because you reject knowledge, he's going to also reject you. You don't want to be rejected, young brother. That's why you got to come back to the Most High God. God. It ain't even a game no more. Right? This world is uh, 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 fictitious, man. It's, 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 it's brutal out here, man. You don't want to get caught up in all the glamour and the lights and the beautiful days. and bro, It's ugly out here. There's, there's so many people in die right through here, bro. It's ridiculous. Right? I know people have died all up in, over here multiple times. You know what I'm saying? We don't want, and it's always our people, the ones that end up dead. Right? We got to come back to ourselves, man. Go ahead. God, this is Proverbs chapter 1 and 23. Bring it out. Oh. It says, turn you at my reproof. Uh -huh. Behold. I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Right. Because I have called and ye refused. Right. You, he, call, he calling unto you, but you refusing to listen to him, brother. You understand? You don't want to be that person. Read on. God, it says, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. You don't even regard when the most high stretched forth his hand towards you. You don't even regard him. You don't even acknowledge that he's, he's trying to reach, reach for it for you. Right? If you, if, you, if you was on a, a top of a building and you see me about to fall over, what are you going to do? You're going to reach for me, right? The most high, and you're dying, and, 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 and when you most need him, he's reaching for you, right? The most, high, the most high is reaching for you all day long, man, right? Talk to us for a minute. Right? Read what you got. God, it says, 
But ye have said at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. He said, hey, since y'all don't want to listen to me, when y'all get in dire needs and trouble, he said he also going to laugh at you, man. Don't come calling all God, Jesus, Jesus. Don't go doing all that when you need, you in trouble now. Right? Because you got all day to come to him and call on his name right now. Right? But a lot of people, they don't want to do that, man. They too prideful. Look at all these people, man. These people don't care about God, bro. These people, you don't know who these people are. You living in a, a huge world, right? None of these people, they don't care about God, bro. These people, are, they, they worried about going, walking up and down the street, going to put some money in these stores or wherever these business on the Sabbath when the Most High said you ain't supposed to be doing that. Let me get Ezekiel 20, uh, Exodus 20 real quick. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 65 and verse 15. And ye shall leave mine, your name for a curse. What's that, what? He shall leave your name, and ye shall leave your name right. for a curse uh -huh. unto, unto my chosen. Right. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. He's going to call his servants by another name. What's that by another name? Right? Y'all calling yourself African Americans. Calling yourselves black. Right? I asked you a question earlier. I said, why would you refer to yourself as black, brother? Why do you refer to yourself as black? Are you black? How? Huh? Brown as hell. Brown. You brown to me. So black. You absolutely. You 100% brown. Uh, yo, we, let's get that real quick. Right? All right. What's up, brothers? What's up, sisters? How y'all doing? Y'all got a minute? Y'all got a minute? Can y'all chop it up with us? Where would you got at? This is Deuteronomy 28 and 37. Bring it out. Deuteronomy 28 37. Bring it out. And thou shalt become an astonishment and a proverb and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. So it was it was foretold to us, brothers, young brothers, it was foretold to us in, in old times, back in the time of the biblical times, it says that our, we will become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. You see what I'm saying? So this is why they call us by all these names. God. Right? You're not, you, when you, would you agree, would you agree and say that you black? You black? How, how are you black? How are you black then? Because black ain't nothing but a color. Right. Right, so that now we got a problem. Because somebody told you something. Does that mean you go along with everything uh, somebody tell you? Right? If I say, hey man, the sky go orange. You going to believe me? You have to say, hey, bro, you got to prove to me, right? Well, prove to me how you black. You see what I'm saying? That don't even make any sense. Would you say everybody, um, everybody equal? Would you say everybody equal? Give me Deuteronomy uh, 7 and 6. You cold? You was trying to look good earlier, man. Trying to flex it. See? Hey, look, man. Trying to flex out here, man, and look, got you in a sticky situation, man. You know? Read what you got. This is Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Most High God said the Israelites are above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Right? He said he above the black people. Right? So, hey, man, it's not good to be a black man, right? It's not good to be b black. Ain't nothing ever came uh, uh, positive to a black man, right? He said you're going to be an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. They're going to call you niggas, thugs, game bangers, all, all, the, all the proverbs and bywords. But when it comes to your nationality, they never going to call you who you really are, brother, right? I got a question. Hey, what's your last name? Robertson? What, Scott? 
Is that a uh, is that your people's last name or is that the slave owner's last name? Huh? Your people's last name is Robertson. Where did they get it from? Plantation, brother. Plantation. Y'all believers? Yeah, are y'all believers? Oh yes. yes. What y'all what are y'all reading? We're reading scripture. Oh, yeah. Huh? Scripture around and reading scripture out loud. Different scriptures and y'all mind y'all mind if we read some scriptures to y'all? Sure. Uh, no? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Oh. Um can I ask y'all a couple of questions? Sure. All right, um, would y'all believe um the Bible to be an allegorical book? Or would it actually be a physical a physical book that actually these things actually happen? I have to believe everything is true in the Bible. Say it again? I have to believe everything is true. Everything is true in the Bible. Yeah, you can't believe, you can't just believe part of it, you gotta believe all of it. Absolutely, so, absolutely, I agree, yeah. I agree. So, would you, would y'all say, according to the Bible, because the Bible is true and everything is true in the Bible. In the Bible, is everybody equal according to the Bible? Amen. Everybody's equal? For all, it's not color, skin, amount, national. Okay, give me Matthew 15 24. What you got, Doc? God, so this is Exodus chapter 21 and 16. Bring it out. It says, And he that stealeth a man and selleth him. Hold on, we'll do that. Anyway, all right, so let me get um, Deuteronomy, let me get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Either or not, or not. Got that, Matthew? Alright, watch this. So you said that Christ came for everybody, right? Alright. All right. Read, read. This is Matthew 15, verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ said out of his own mouth, he said that he was only sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Would you agree that Christ only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel? But Christ, Christ, Christ just said that out of his own mouth. No, no, okay. I, I just, I just want to build with you. So. No, no, no. The reason. Uh huh. According to who? Uh, Paul. So, so hold on. I thought I thought Christ left Paul, uh, uh, Peter in charge. I thought Peter was the Paul head. Paul left the fetch among the disciples in charge. Remember when he hit, went to heaven? He left the counselor. You know what the counselor is to us? Okay, I'm asking. I'm, I'm, I want you to elaborate. Oh, you guys answer. When, when Jesus went to heaven, uh huh. He left as a helper. Our counselor, who is that? Peter. Holy Spirit. Oh, well, uh, Holy Spirit. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you're, uh, you, you have to show me that in the scripture, but we know that Christ left yeah. Peter in charge. And That's so my point. And it did. Left him in charge uh, of a uh, church. Yeah, and, the, and that's where the Holy Spirit resides. Holy Spirit resides in all of us. Well, the, the scripture. No, no, when Christ went to heaven, he gave us all the What scripture is that? Well, I wish I could get it to you, but I tell you what. Watch this. Uh, I'm gonna show you something else. Well, you got a plan to change some stuff. I ain't trying. I, I just want to read the Bible. Listen, I have, I have. I'm just answering. I'm just asking the question. Right. I'm asking. I'm just asking questions. That's it. All right. Let's let's hold on. Read this real quick. Matthew's one. Oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. Hey, Matthew's one. Matthew, Matthew's one twenty-one. This is. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. Bring it down. Prove all things. Ah. Hold fast that which is good. So the Bible tells us to prove all things, right? And that's and that's all we Jesus loves us. That's all praises. There you go. There you go. I agree. What, what what scripture is that? Well, I tell you what, I'm not really versed on the Bible. I can't quote scripture off the scripture, but I tell you what, uh, my name is Tony. Uh-huh. Now. Are you a pastor? Uh, now, since I get to read now, right? Hold on, I, I didn't get to finish my scriptures. Okay. I want to, I want to, 
show you something really quick. Okay. okay. God, this is Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Bring it out. And she shall bring forth a son, uh -huh. and thou shalt call his name Jesus, uh -huh. for he shall save his people from their sins. So the Bible says that Mary shall bring forth a son, and he shall save his people from their sins. Who is. Who? What scripture is that? That's easy. That's easy. Okay. Go to John 3.16. I'm going to show you. Have you ever read John 3.14? Not really. I didn't read it. Right. So you have to read it in context, right? See? That's what the same thing. Everybody always trying to accuse us of doing. We got to read the whole thing. But then their favorite uh, scripture is John 3.16. I asked what John 3.15 says or John 3.17. They don't know. Do you know what John 3 and 1 says? I don't really get the Bible. I'm glory. Do you know who, what, who's the context of this even dealing with in John? Uh, uh, one, three. Right, you don't want to go there. You know what that means? Huh? No, you don't. Well, so we do. We do want to go there. We do. I love you. I'm just trying to show you we don't know all the scriptures. Hold on, you. Hold on. Who is the scriptures given to? Give me, give me, uh, give me uh, Romans uh, three, really quick. God, this is Ro Romans chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. out. What advantage then, then have the Jew? Right. Or what profit is there of circumcision? Is there advantage of as, as is there an advantage of being a Jew? Is there an advantage? It's God's chosen people. It's God's chosen people. So what is the advantage of them being God's chosen people? Well, he loved them first. He loved them first? Right. Every, everybody else in the whole world, he didn't love them because they were not worshiping him. They were doing uh, uh, the word I'm trying to say okay. detestable things. Okay. Uh, would you say people are doing detestable things to this very day in America? Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's the same thing going on, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, just like he was going to judge them for doing detestable things, what you think America going to get? Judge for doing detestable things. Yeah, right? Read what you got. Good. This is, this is Acts chapter 5, verse 30. Uh -huh. oh. It says, the God of our fathers uh -huh. raised up Jesus, right. whom ye sling, slew and hanged on a tree. Uh -huh. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. No, everybody. To Israel. He's going to be a prince and a savior for the world. To, to Israel. Israel. The Bible keeps saying, the Bible keeps saying that he's going to be a prince and a savior for Israel. Right? Would you agree that the Most High God doesn't change? Does God change? Well, God has changed. Did he say, I'm going to kill all of the Jews by the mouth? Did he say because they pushed them? No, he didn't. But he didn't. But he got mad at them. No, no, no. God no, no. You're skipping over it. Go ahead. He said, I just had to destroy all of them with them. Yeah, he said he wanted to, but he didn't say he was going to. He prayed, asked God to save them. Did he not? Hold on, listen. Did he? Listen, that is true. God never said that he was going to do it, though. He never said, he just said that he, he felt like that. Right? All right, so, so hold on. Oh, you got his New Testament. You got to read the whole Bible. You got to read the whole Bible. That's what he said. You got to read the whole, that's what he said. Yeah, we don't tell me. Give me, I have a chance. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does God hate? Does, does God hate people? Does God hate people? He hates sin. He loves Does God hate he people? Everybody to be Give me Psalms 5 and 5. Hey, brother. Does God hate? God don't hate? Can I show y'all scripture in the Bible really quick? No, I know. I know it's in there, but thank you. Oh, man. God. This is Sirach chapter 12 and verse 6. Bring it out. Yeah. It says, for the most high hateth sinners. What? Hateth sinners. No, he hate the sin. He hated sinners. He hates the sinner. He hates the one that's actually doing the sin. That's what the Bible says. Give me Psalms 5 and 5. Go ahead. It says, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keeping them against the mighty day of their punishment. He's going he gonna to bring vengeance upon the ungodly. Right? Let me ask you a question. Do you think what's all going on now is that part of tribulation? That's what's part of what? Tribulation. Y'all know what tribulation Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we believe that this is the uh, beginning of Jacob's trouble. 
and that uh, judgment is about to come on the earth, and um, these nations are about to get what they um, they, they uh, what they dealt. Come. Do you do you agree? Do you agree America got to be judged? I don't. Do you do you agree that America has to be judged? But hold on. Would you? Hold on. Let me ask you a question. Let me let me ask you. Who's killed more people than America? Who's killed more people than America? Who? And abortion. We all have well, who, do you know who, uh, who created abortion? Uh, Margaret Singer. She's a European. So she created she created abortion so uh, people could be killed. Right? Still still more um, death. She created abortion? Huh? She created abortion. She created abortion. She the ones that came up with abortion uh, for par Parenthood. Margaret Singer, look her up. Oh, okay. Well, I thought right? meant, like, I'm sure there been more important abortion. Yeah, I, I need, I need, I need Romans three really quick. You need to read all of it. God, this is Romans chapter three, verse what? It says, "What advantage then have the Jew, or what profit is there in circumcision? Much every way." Right. The Bible says that it, they have an advantage in every way. Read. Chiefly, more importantly, it says. Chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. He said they, they have an advantage because unto the Jews, they received the oracles of God. That's what that's what the Bible says. So it's not, according to the Bible, there isn't any equality. Because if it was equality, why would God choose one nation and not the rest of the other nations? That's not equality if he's choosing one and not the others. God do what he wants. I agree. Right? I agree. Who he loves the most. I agree. Does, does God hate? Does, does, but we just hold, give me Romans 9, 13. Bring it out. Read. God, this is Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Bring, Bring it out. out. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. He said, What? Jacob, Jacob have, have I loved. loved. He said, As it is written, Jacob have he loved. Read on. But Esau have I hated. But he hated Esau. Right. right. So the lie in Christianity when they're saying that God loves everybody, that is not true. God. That is not true. John 3, 16. Oh. See, so you don't even know what John 3, 14 oh, says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> huh? Yeah, we do. Because we're taking this kingdom back, man. God. Yeah, we got us, man. All right? <laughs> we absolutely got it planned, man. All right, we got a plan to come back to, to the Most High God's laws, statutes, and commandments. God. We plan for our sins, and we got to endure it to the end. We got it planned out, man. That's right. right. That's right. 